And yes, here we are at Dynamation's Dinosaurs Alive.
very clean. Look at the little turtle. Look how little. Oh yeah. Right by the tree. In the water. Look at how little that one is. He, he went under the, the tree. Oh, I, I saw a little minnow. Yeah. Sure. And I bet, I bet it's clean. They keep it clean too. Oh, Ew, that's like a jellyfish of some kind or something that's floating by. See that fish? See the fish by the tree? See the fish by the tree?
boys and girls, one from more than Jumbo Cruise here in Silver Spring. I don't see him. He's behind the branch. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I know. I can't. My camera won't get him. No. <laughs> Oh, 
she likes St. Louis Cardinals now. There's Red over there also. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. She looks like she's pregnant. Look at her little. There's Princess. There's Silly came all the way down. There's Daryl up there in the street with a nine-day-old baby. See the little baby on the belly? Come on down, Daryl. Come on. Come on down, Daryl. Whoa, there goes that big gator all the way up there across the river. Well, come on down, Daryl. You're welcome. Now, there's a little baby going to stay on her belly for about the first 30 to 40 days. After that, then she crawls around to her back. And then she'll stay on her back for about 10 and a half months. Well, for her first 10 and a half months. That's why she starts leaving the back. Starts going off. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry to give you something. Need to give something to Red. Here you go, Red. You ready? You ready, Red? Here we go. Oh boy, there you go. I'm gonna get the Daryl Red. Then you're gonna miss out. Here. I'll come back. Oh, has got it. Now see what happens. There you go. Good catch. Now don't let, don't let precious. <laughs> you hog. He's not hogging so much. Try one more time. Now Daryl's gonna get it. Red, you're just too slow. Start doing your sit-ups, girl. Last banana, Red. Don't, don't miss this one now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, the baby's only nine days old, Kim. There you go, son. Oh, oh, Daryl got that one, too. That's it, kids. 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. That's Mr. Island right there. Mrs. Island didn't have much of a lightweight herself. Thank you, Mama. She'll tip the scales about something. Okay. Uh, he's not hungry, honey. The moon is a lost city of Atlantis. Cool. Is that moon that he steps through first in the deepest part of the Atlantic? Welcome to the Atlantic. <laughs> 22 feet deep down there. Some of the other movies filmed here at Silver Springs were all six of the Tarzan movies, Cross Creek, The Return of the Creature, Smoking in the Bandit Part 3, Moonraker, I Spy, Sea Hunt, Six Million Dollar Man, Never Say Never, and Legend with Tom Cruise. This spring here first appeared in the movies back in 1916 in the silent screen classic, The Seven Swans. Sometimes Holly Spring here entices the underground reservoirs, which are on the entire state of Florida. So it could be a bottomless pit. The next trail I'll be taking you into is called the Blue Grotto. And Grotto means cave. This is said to be the prettiest spring I agree. This little black bird over here from the left. With the first orange beak, this is a gallon. It also called a Morgan or a water chicken. I'm going to try to get some fish cooked underneath the blast for you guys. Oh, sorry. That's a good one. Oh, pretty. Say salt line the ducks say hey, let me know. Fresh water. Fresh water on it. Looks like a dramatic. This small travel about 150 miles in order to get here. Big 
come in from the Atlantic. Look at him come up and take a little bite out of the bread. Right? The bread is the mullet the bread. Yeah. Okay. The mullet is also vegetarian. Go ahead, what? Does the state of Florida own this or is it individually owned? Um, it's privately owned right now. State's thinking about bread. buying it. I hope they don't. Bread. Bread. Okay, guys, we're going to go over the spring and then head on out. Do you all feed the fish? Yeah. See these boxes right here? There was one here. Yeah. An automatic fish feeder goes off about three times a day. There was also one in the first spring that I showed you guys. Now what gives this spring or any of the springs here at Silver Springs their blow effect? They're the snail shells or mussel shells which have been settled out here throughout the years. Also the microscopic particles of lime spins in the water give off a bright blue tint. Even on the cloudiest of days, these springs are still real blue. You can see where the water's coming out of the spring down there, so all that stuff's being blown around. And it's being moved around, not by us, but by the water coming out of that hole down there. That's where the spring is. The white particles are the snail shells that I was mentioning to you. Now, the reason why our fish get so big here is because we feed them and they don't feed us. A what? You get caught with your line in this water and take your boat, your equipment, your trailer, your car, What's your house, your spouse, about? your kids. All the above, Dad. and you don't even get to keep the fish. Dad. 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 Uh, 95. Huh? She said it wasn't. Well, she did say it was not. Look. In this front glass here is a ledge. Oh. The cave. This cave extends 65 feet across. The entrance for is 12 feet tall. And then it becomes very right narrow. Water is coming out of the cave down there. And this one spring alone, there's 550 uh, million gallons of water coming out of it every 24 hours. To give you a little bit of an idea of exactly how much water that actually is, if you were taking the Olympic-sized swimming pool, you could have it filled up in two minutes flat with the water from this spring. It's a lot of water. Is it there? Well, guys, this is our access chores for today. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Please be sure look on both sides of you and grab all your personal belongings because anything